YouTubers and Pokemon fans. For today's opening, we have the newly released Battle Arena decks, Mewtwo versus Darkrai. If you are new to competitive play, or you just need some expanded competitive format cards, and some standard ones as well, this is a great cost-effective way to get into the game and bulk up your competitive resources. I'll take this out of the package in a second, but I'll just show you on the back here. Two mighty Pokemon battle for victory. Mewtwo and Darkrai go head to head in the new Pokemon TCG Battle Arena decks. These two 60 card decks are ready to play right away with powerful cards and winning strategies worthy of an ace trainer. Each deck is led by an exceptional Pokemon EX and includes 10 foil cards. Let the battle begin. So, in each 60 card deck, you'll find two foil cards, either two Mewtwo EXs or two Darkrai EXs. You'll get eight foil basic energies, psychic or dark. And also, there are several tournament level trainer cards, including Level Ball, Professor Sycamore, and, and many more that I'll show you in a second. And it also says it includes two metallic coins, two sets of damage counters, a two player playmat and rule sheet, one code card to play these decks online, which is good value right there as well. Two deck boxes, just you know the little cardboard ones. One quick guide to unlock the powerful strategies within. So first, let's get this unboxed. All right, it's all the packaging, so it's easier to show you now. So again, you get the code card, which that alone is going to have solid value because you get so many playable cards for online as well. So it's a good entry point to get more competitive online as well. You get two coins, both featuring Zorark. One is white, one is red. And as it said, you get two sheets of damage counters. And you get a, uh, let's see. This must be the quick player's guide. Let's see what that shows here exactly. So Mewtwo versus Darkrai. The Darkrai X deck shows you there. You get Catcher, Muscle Band. We'll show you all these cards in a second though. Just kind of explains what you want to do with the deck basically. Yes, Crobat, a standard legal card is in here and multiple copies even. Spoiler alert. And then, I don't want to unfold this all, but this is going to be the two-player playmat, and it looks like it gives you pretty good in-depth stuff on the back side as to how cards work. So, again, if you're new to the game and you don't know the rules, it's like a lot of your answers will be right there on that as well. But most importantly here are the decks. Let's start first with the Darkrai deck. So there is one Darkrai EX. And yes, they all have the original numbering. So this is Dark Explorers, number 63 of 108. It's not a promo, it's not a full-on reprint. I mean, it is a reprint per se, but uh, basically it's not standard legal. It is expanded legal though, but that is a format that is being pushed a lot more heavily this tournament season by Pokemon, so you're gonna want standard legal stuff. And I'll get these foil energy and stuff in sleeves afterwards, but to save time here, let's just go through here. So there should be eight foil dark energies. You get a second dark cry. EX that I will put in the sleeve right away. So two Dark Cry EXs and eight foil basic darkness energy. Kind of sure the different type because I think dark we had in the red Genset collection maybe or something else. I think we've had one of these types before, but anyways, we got a rainbow energy. Let's see, another rainbow. And one, two, three, four, five more non-foil dark. So you get 13 dark energy total and two rainbow. We got Zerosic. Ultra Ball, another Ultra Ball, Tierno, Skyla from Brown, bleh, Skyla from Boundaries Crossed, so that's expanded. Skyro Bridge, retreat cost of each basic Pokemon in play is one colorless less, times two of those. Roller Skates from Phantom Forces, Random Receiver from Dark Explorers, Professor's Letter from XY Base, Professor Sycamore from Phantom Forces, times two. Pokemon Catcher from, I think that's like a trainer kit thing or whatever. So uh, two of those, and that does have the correct text, we gotta flip a coin. Plus power times two from black and white base set. You get N from Dark Explorers, just one. Muscle Band from XY Base times two, that's a great card to have in there. Lysander from Flash Fire times one. Level Ball, which was your print in Ancient Origins, but this is the next Destiny's print version, whatever, one of those. Evil Soda from XY Base times one, Energy Switch from uh, Furious Fists times one, Dark Patch from Dark Explorers times two. That's a desired card. Uh, Bianca from Legendary Treasures times two. 
And then for the Pokemon, and you can tell it's a competitive deck because you get a ton of trainers. Well, like a standard starter deck from Pokemon usually has not many trainers and not good ones. This has a ton of trainers and they're pretty much all competitive. So, very awesome. We got Inke from Black and White, or no, sorry, from XY Base times two. Malamar from XY Base times two. Pancham from Furious Fists times two. Pangoro from Furious Fists times two. Zorua from Legendary Treasures times three. Zorark from Black and White Base times one. From Legendary Treasures times two. And then Sableye from Dark Explorers times two. The one with Junk Hunt. This has definitely seen competitive play in the last few years. Put two item cards from your discard pile into your hand. So helps you get a lot of cards back, like Dark Patch, maybe you're playing lasers with it. Any number of item cards are very good to get back, so that can be very useful, especially early game where you're setting up and you're just trying to devastate your opponent and stuff like that. So, on to the Mewtwo deck. There is the Mewtwo EX. And I'm not sure, but to me it seems like the foil is a little different, like it's a little more golden. I don't know, what do you guys think? You think it's at the same full treatment as the original ones, or am I just imagining things? I don't know. I think they look a little more golden. So maybe they are a little different. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll have to dig out my original ones and hold them side by side to get a better comparison, I guess. So, for the Mewtwo deck here, you again get eight foil basic energy, this time of Psychic. And then, of course, you get a second Mewtwo EX. Very nice. You get two double Carlos energy and five more basic psychic. So 13 energy plus two special energy in total, just like the Dark Cry deck. And then for the trainers versus Seeker from Phantom Forces. This is, or at least was, a five to six dollar card. I'm guessing a lot of these single prices will come down because of this deck, but who knows? But basically, based on singles prices when this came out, you know, take three, four cards. Four or five cards out of it, and you got your money's worth. I mean, the EXs and a Versus Seeker alone right there basically gets you to break even at least. So, very, very good buy. Of course, these are off center, but oh well. So, Versus Seeker times one from Phantom Forces. Shauna from Phantom Forces times two. Another Professor's Letter times one from XY Base. Two, oh, yep, two more Sycamore. So, you get four Professor Sycamore total between the two decks from Phantom Forces. Potion from the Trainer Kit Thingy times two. From Flash Fire, Pokemon Fan Club times one. From Black and White Base Set, Pokemon Communication times two. We get a second N from Dark Explorers, first in this deck. This one has the Stadium Mountain Rain from Furious Fists times two. You get a Max Potion from Emerging Powers, that has been hard to come by, times one. Level Ball again, times one from uh, Next Destinies. Hard Charm from XY Base times two. Evo Soda from XY Base times one. Escape Rope from Primal Clash times two. Energy Retrieval from Primal Clash times one. Devolution Spray from... I'm blanking on what set that is, but one of those. Uh, Caitlyn from Plasma Blast times one. Bicycle from Plasma Storm times one. Battle Reporter from Furious Fist times one. And AZ from Phantom Forces times one. Then for Pokemon, you got Bufalant from Legendary Treasures times one. From that set times one. Splank from Boundaries Crossed times three. I think that's from uh, Dragon's Exalted, the one I couldn't come up with. Let's see, Grumpig from Boundaries Crossed times two. That is a rare. You get Zubat, the one with the ability Free Flight from Plasma Storm. This was a multi-dollar card. Three of those, you get Sneaky Bite, Golbat, times two. And you get what was about a $5 card, Crobat, with Surprise Bite, times two. And you get two Jinx from Furious Fists. The Crobats and Golbats are from Phantom Forces. So, as you can see, you get a ton of awesome, playable, competitive, valuable cards in these two decks. So, if you're a new player, or an existing player that just needs some more resources, some more playable trainers to possibly have multiple decks built or what have you. Obviously, this is a great entry point or great add-on to your existing collection for competitive play or just for your collection in general with those awesome EXs and foil energies as well. If you're looking to buy one of these of your own, we do have them in stock now, ready to ship on our website, thepokecapital.com. 
I will try to get more if they sell very quickly. As of this moment, the main distributor I use is sold out. I assume they'll be able to get more and restock, but who knows? Uh, the old, the previous one with uh, Xerneas vs. Evil Toth Battle Arena decks from last year or longer, that one is still out there and like available, so I assume they'll continue to print this and I'll be able to restock them, but we'll see. But if you want one, I wouldn't hesitate. I'd jump on that before, you know, supplies dwindle, prices rise, who knows? But right now, it's a great buy. I'm not going to state the price because our price may change over time, but right now, it's a great buy, great value. Like I said, take a few cards out of the deck based on what their singles value was before this deck came out at least, and you got your money back very quickly, very easily. So, please subscribe, rock smash that like button, visit our website where you can find this Battle Arena, Dark Cry vs. Mewtwo deck, and much, much more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for some more Pokemon opening goodness.